Over on CNN, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm and a leftist news anchor masquerading as an objective reporter took this opportunity of the tragedy to score political points and to push a climate agenda. They wondered aloud how this building collapse may have been caused by climate change. But given what we know about the changing climate, given that we've seen an increase in these so-called extraordinary tides and the impact that that can have in areas like South Florida, do you think that climate could have played a role in that building's collapse? Well, obviously we don't know fully, but we do know that, that the seas are rising. I mean, we know that we're losing inches and inches of beaches, not just in Florida, but all around. Um, you know, Lake Michigan, where I'm from, they, you know, we've seen the loss of beaches because the, the waters are rising. So, you know, this is a phenomenon that will continue, whether it, ha we'll have to wait to see what the analysis is for this building. The left really never does let a crisis go to waste, as the infamous saying goes. I guess it's too much to ask the left to wait until the bodies are even recovered, let alone buried from the rubble before they start politicizing this tragedy. The climate crazies have been looking for a tragedy like this to happen for 50 years, one that they could politicize. So it's understandable that they would jump the gun like this. But how insensitive, how perfectly brazen. 32 years ago, in 1989, a story by the Associated Press reported the entire nation would be wiped out by rising seas if something wasn't done about climate change by the year 2000. 33 years ago, so-called experts said that the entire Maldives island chain would be underwater in 30 years. Newsflash, the Maldives are still there. Also in 1989, Salon Magazine interviewed a top climate expert fresh from his apocalyptic testimony before Congress who said New York City's West Side Highway would be underwater in 20 to 30 years. That was 32 years ago. As you can see, the West Side Highway Still there, still above water.